what was it? Cause you've had some incredible, other than the joy, you've lost weight, energy, yeah, like give so us much. a rundown of how you're different now because of the deep talks. I, I would say the biggest change and here, here's the side, the side effects is finally able to lose weight while doing yeah. all the things like my yeah. body is finally, as I'm releasing the metals, yeah. I'm releasing the weight Something because like it no that. longer feels that it has to protect my organs. Right. Um, which is, you know, it's so crazy. Like people don't realize a lot of times you could be holding on to weight is because your body does not want to release metals into your body, especially because we're not designed to be able to detox them. Yeah. We have yeah. to help ourselves to detox metal out of your body. Yeah. So yeah. now that my body doesn't feel threatened anymore, like, oh no, my, my organs are going to get destroyed by all this, you know, lead floating around and damaging things. It's feeling safe and it's, it's starting to release and it's still slow. It's a slow process. Yeah. I'm still in process. Um, but like we but, all are, we all yeah. are <laughs> yeah. Yeah. milestones. And it's like crazy to see, like, I don't know, my mom used to only wear, like feel comfortable in dresses, like really long dresses. Mm. And now she wears pants all the time and she's okay. Just like <laughs> wearing clothes that she used to. And like, I don't know, it's a small thing, but it's, a lot, so a lot different. of small things. A yeah. lot of small things. And it just makes you so happy to It makes a big see. difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. it makes me so happy to see like the first time I saw her wearing pants, I like almost cried. I was so <laughs> happy for her. That's <laughs> awesome. It, it had been so long, you know? Yeah. So. That's awesome. So there was a light bulb moment. I remember when you asked me, wait, if I have this load, what do my oh. kids have? And should we test my kid, my girls. Yeah. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about that. And then what Rosemary experienced because Rosemary's the firstborn and the firstborn gets mom's most toxic load, you know? Yep. So, yeah, You're know. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, from working with you and studying, um, most of the time the the majority of the lead that people have is passed down through the mother's microbiome. And, um, it's just interesting and sad for the firstborn that they get the, the biggest load and then it goes down consecutively. So I decided once I was kind of in a better place, I wanted to get my girls tested um, because since they were young, well, living, they all actually present completely different. Um, they struggle with different health things as a result of the lead, which is really interesting. And Super I think it's, weird. it's good to point out because it it's, good it's out. not a cookie cutter thing. Yeah. Like just because I struggle with this one thing doesn't mean that you will, if you have a high lead load. Right. Yeah. So, it's like one toxin gives all these different symptoms. We have that in my family too. Like my mom was osteoporosis and chronic pain and digestive issues. My sister was thyroid and le restless legs, and mine was perimenopause symptoms. So, you know, everybody, it's the same toxin that's getting passed down, but it's exhibiting different in, in each body. Well, it makes because, sense, yeah. too, if it's settling in different parts of your brain and in your yeah. body, that it would affect different organs. Yeah. Like, for me, it was my HPA axis, <laughs> like, right. you know, yeah, you completely clogged up. Yeah. Um, but this is really interesting. Um, so, science... I like the science part of this. So I got all three girls tested. And of course, yep. Rosemary is the worst. And then Esther, a little bit less. And then there was a huge gap between Esther and Eleanor, my youngest. And I realized this later. I actually lost a child between mm. Esther and Eleanor. And if you added up the numbers, that child got exactly the load of lead between Esther and oh Eleanor if you went down. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. 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 So we've done a heavy metal test on all you guys and yeah. you can see that the lead is in descending order. So you have yeah. the most, Rosemary's next and it goes on down. So, so, but Rosemary is more than just your, your like officially diagnosed lead levels. Like you knew something wasn't right for you. So yeah. talk a little bit because I think your story is also impactful because so many people can think that anxiety, depression, anger is just a teenager. And that's, yeah, that's, that's not what it was. So talk a little bit about what you noticed. Yeah. So I developed depression when I was very, very, very young. I was 12, which yeah. is absolutely not normal, but to me no. it was. And I just thought that I was an angry person. I had convinced myself that I was a bad person and that's just how I acted. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was, I was just, 
I had no energy. I was tired all the time. I was sad all the time. I was hurt and angry for no reason. And then it was kind of just like, I felt nothing for a long, long, long time. So I wasn't, I had kind of lost sense of who I was and like how happy I could be. Mm -hmm. Um, So after starting the, the detox, it was like you said, it's like seeing an old friend again. It's, it's so crazy, but yeah. yeah. And, and what did, Rachel, what did you notice? Like, did you kind of start to put two and two together? Or was it an aha moment when you got her test? Like, did it, was it a, like, let's try it and see what happens? Yeah. Well, I kind of already knew. I mean, once I got my test done, it's like, well, if I have this, my kids have it, yeah, you know? Right. Um, and so with Rosemary, like she had some very specific things, definitely, the depression and the mood. I also had my period cycle, which was really, really awful. So it was really debilitating. I had asked my mom a few times to go to the doctors to go on birth control, which I don't know. I thought that was the solution because that's what my friends were all doing to fix it. Um, And I, (laughs) I would have period cycles that would be short. They'd be like five days, but three of them I would be in crippling pain. I would be stuck in bed. I would, I just wouldn't be able to move. I couldn't leave a heating pad. It was just, and I had to miss a lot of school because of it. And I had just accepted that that was part of my reality. And I was trying to fix it in the best ways I could. I would just like take Advil and I would, you know what I mean? I would do all the things you're supposed to do and nothing really helped. So for years, ever since I got my period, it was awful. And it was, it, uh, (laughs) It was not something I was able to deal with on top of the mental issues because then it's not like I'm choosing to be in my room. I have to be in my room. There's no other options and it sucks. It sucks to have to miss out on stuff because you're in pain all day, you know? And that's another one of those things that they say, oh, well, that's just normal, like, you know, normal normal, teenage stuff. Yeah. Normal teenage PMS, normal teenage be. anger. I know. Like if I go back to like when, when I was a teenager, yeah, you, I mean, PMS is always kind of a new thing. You're trying to learn how to navigate, but you're not debilitated like that. So, um, and, and I know thing, a lot of friends who are like that. Too. Right? That and, and the thing that like shocked me when my daughter went through high school was like, how many kids and teenagers are struggling with anxiety? Oh and my God. It, I, there's gotta oh be a God. toxic piece to that. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's an epidemic that it makes we're not- sense because of biomagnification. Like it absolutely makes sense why our generation is so toxic and we don't know about it. I had no clue why I was depressed, why all my friends were sad all the time. And it's, yeah. it's just, it's something that is very much societally normal now. So I didn't think there could be a medical issue underlying. I just thought that this is the way my brain is. This is the way it will be. And I have to be okay with that. And it was a very hard reality to accept that you're just going to be sad. Especially at, you started feeling depression at 12. Is that what you said? Yeah. that's Most 12 year olds don't get depressed. That's not a normal thing. (laughs) Then there was a turning point in, in the brain phase. And (laughs) I I remember getting a message from you and you were like, Oh my God. Yes. I remember this woman. Like, and, and that's how all of us that go through detox, it's like, you've been reunited with a friend that you forgot you didn't know. Yeah. It's weird. It's really weird like your brain starts working in a way that you go is familiar and you go oh I remember I was this happy I remember I had this great mental clarity so So it's really crazy so talk a little bit about that because we did we did get you to a good place yeah it was funny because I was struggling so much on body that finally we're like all right we're moving on to brain (laughs) so and I feel like I was on brain for a while um maybe even four or five months and that was pretty difficult as well. But like you said, near the end, something just kind of clicked and it wasn't just, oh, it clicked over and now that's where I'm at forever. It clicked over maybe for like two days, Mm. but it was so dramatic where I just felt, I don't know. I, I just felt like, like my eyes were clear and I was able to tap into this joy and hope in seeing that person who I am. 